Welcome to the Twitter mention module for Mass Planner. Okay, sorry, I said that a little bit slow. I was trying to think about if it was Facebook, Twitter, or what have you. But anyway, let's go, guys. So this is the Twitter mention module, mention module for Mass Planner, and I'm going to show you how it works, all right? So basically, I'll show you actually the end result first because I know a lot of you guys, you know, you see messages um, such as this one that I've created here, okay, that come to you directly after someone has um, followed you or you followed someone and they say, hey, thanks for the follow, blah, 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 right? That's what you're able to do with this module and that's what this module is for. So let me quickly show you how to use this, all right? So let's go through this. All right, so first things first, all right? You go to the Extract Members module, okay, or Extract Members tab here on this module, and you'll put in your URL. The URL can be either your Twitter account, like I did my George Price 883 account, okay, or it can be um, a list of another account that you may have. If you have lists in your account, you can do that to only send it to certain people. Um, or should I say mention certain people? Um, you can also do it based on hashtags and such like that. So you can put a variety of these different um, search criteria as in regard in the form of a link in this box here. Okay, you can do one per line and it'll extract each from those groups or those lists and such like that. You can also uh, make sure you change the, uh, the area here where it says like scroll the page for so many seconds. Okay, you might wanna test this out. The default set by Mass Planner is 300 seconds. I've tried this um, and as you see, it only extracted on my last run um, 503 people. I actually have like over a thousand people on my, um, in my uh, followers list. But because of the timing settings that I have set here with Mass Planner, it only downloaded a total of like 503. I'll test it out. I'll make sure it, you know, like does it different. As I always tell you guys, if you're in the Mass Planner group, if you're not in the Mass Planner group, um, join it. <laughs> if not, contact me and I'll give you the proper settings for this. I only give you how this actually kind of like works with the general idea of it. I don't want to give you all those secrets on this video because then it will be kind of like pointless, you know, and I want you guys to come to me and ask me for more basically. All right. So what you'll do after you've actually extracted the members, okay, you go to the section where it says here, use members, all right? And I've already done a test, did a test, should I say. And you see here, I checked my Mass Planner account. And what it did was it sent a message to my Mass Planner account, which was this. Or should I say it sent a message, on my, put a message on my wall to my Mass Planner Tips account in this way, all right? And so there's this, it's not just as simple as saying, okay, you select this one, George, and you send the message um, you click here where it says send. It's not that simple. Okay, what you'll need to do after you've extracted the uh, members is you go to the use members section. Okay, you select the members that you want either by um, importing members. Um, you can also select all. Okay, or you can just go through and you know like kind of like select which ones you want. Normally, you'll probably like select all of them. To be honest with you, um, after you've selected all of them you'll have the option of either like exporting that selection, okay, if you wanna to send to it later, okay, because you may find out that this list of people that you're mentioning or what have you, you might wanna send a different type message to them to mention them again, okay, because of the response that you may have received. I mean, they may become like your Monday, um, happy payday Monday gang, you know, that always tweets those, retweets your stuff out. So you might wanna send like, hey, I have a happy payday Monday newsletter out. Do you guys wanna send this out, you know, for Mass Planner tips or something, something interesting, you know? Sorry, Happy Payday Monday is one of my things, guys. But that's what you make, that's would be one reason why you want to export that selection, okay? And it would export into a CVS file, CSV file, okay, that you can later use and import into Mass Planner using the import members feature, okay? I imported my Mass Planner's tips. That's why you see the total here is 504, and the extract members total here is 503, all right? 504 happens to be the area code of New Orleans as well. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so we'll scroll down here, okay? You'd enter the text that you want to um, have tweeted on your wall as a mention to that person, all right? It's not gonna tweet it on their wall. It's not gonna go into their inbox. It's only gonna go onto your wall as a mention to them. They're gonna be alerted because it says that someone has tweeted you or retweeted or what have you mentioned you, such like that on your Twitter feed, okay? On their Twitter feed, should I say? Or Twitter alert, sorry about that. All right, so this is my message. Very simple, okay? Um, Twitter only allows like 140 characters. All right, so when you're using this feature, you wanna be careful of the amount of characters that you actually use. So you see here, I didn't go over, well, I, I, I'll show you another way to test this um, when we get to the campaign section, which is another part of this. But um, you can test this either by clicking up on the uh, 
your account here because this is a tool, okay? And what happens when you click in the account? You can open up a new tweet, okay? You make sure you click here where it says enable manual browsing first. Then just click to, let's go to my main page. Okay, guys, this is like kind of exclusive because Mass Planner just opened this up or started this. So you click here where it says tweet, okay? You have your message that you want. You see it says 140, right? So I take this message with the, um, you select all, copy it. Okay, I take that message with the um, abbreviated like first name there because that is um, hypertext in a sense. Uh, spin text, what I say. It's kind of code that Mass Planner uses. Okay, and then I check it here. You see it says 18 characters left basically, all right? That's, that's what that red thing means. All right, what Mass Planner is gonna do is to locate the account in the beginning, it's gonna say at whatever account. So in this case, I'm sending to my Mass Planner tips account. So it would say at and the Mass Planner um, Twitter account, okay, in the beginning. So that will take off a certain amount of characters. So you gotta be aware of that. Then you also have to be aware here with the first name section, it's gonna take off a certain amount of characters because of the first name or whatever criteria you put. You can put first name, last name, a combination of first and last name. I don't recommend putting first and last name because you have to put into consideration the total characters in your message and the total characters that Twitter will allow, all right? So this is one way you can test it. I don't recommend sending tweet, okay? Um, because you're just testing this, all right? So control A, um, delete everything, or just simply click the X here and get out of that, okay? Once you've confirmed the amount of characters that you can use, um, uncheck this box here that says enable manual browsing, all right? And this is, guys, Mass Planner offers a five-day trial, all right? So if I'm showing you how to do all of this, and if you're looking at this video and you're like, this guy shows like a lot, I'm showing you a lot because I want you to actually engage in this, okay? I want you to actually be able to do this like out of the box, all right? So <laughs> let's get back into it, all right? I'm gonna minimize this, um, boom. Okay, and we're gonna go back. So. The next thing here is, I got my message. Like I said, please use spin syntax if you can. And basically what the spin syntax will do, do a Google search on that. I don't wanna to get too in depth in that. I can, I can, I'll probably make a video sometime and show you guys how to use it. But spin syntax, multi-spin syntax, it allows you to do a variation of messages from one little text or post in a sense, all right? Like I said, Google it. All right, after that, you have this section here where it says remove selected members from the list after clicking send. This is something you might want to select um, if you keep this list here, okay, you don't delete it after you finish, and you want to send another message. Because if you don't remove those members from the list, it'll just keep sending over and over and over again. And if you're sending the same message, basically you're spamming, okay, and I don't recommend doing that, all right? So definitely um, click remove, um, only send one message per person, and then be done with it, all right? Unless you're sending like a series or something like that. That's, that's a great idea. If you have a series of message, messages, almost like an email chain, then maybe you wanna do something like that, like today is day one of this, this is how you do this, today is day two, this is how you do this, something like that, you know, email marketing. All right, after you do that, um, the next section is ignore members who have already received the message. Okay, so this is kind of like, it's not really contradicting the above one, but what it does is um, it'll look at this list, okay, and if it's sent the message one, it'll just simply ignore them. So this one here will remove them from the list to totally prevent you from sending it to them again. This one will simply ignore them. So if you're a little skeptical and think like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I wanna make sure I don't send to this person, or I just don't ever wanna send to this person again, they said stop sending me stuff. Then you use the remove from selected, okay? That's almost like putting them, um, just taking them off of your email list, basically, all right? The next thing here is the campaign, okay? I know that's misspelled a little bit, don't worry about it. Um, but the campaign option here, it shows the campaigns that you have set up. And as you see here, I've set up a campaign that says George Price 883 Twitter mentions, okay? Click the campaign for your that you want to send to, and after you've done that, okay, you want to click here where it says send to campaign, okay, and I'm going to go on and show you what happens next. Make sure that I clicked it, boom, you heard the click, right? Okay, so it shows one members sent to the George Price 883 Twitter mentions campaign. Okay, if I had selected more, okay, you only saw I selected my Mass Planner Tips one, it would have shown more, okay, so I'll click okay here. All right, then I'll scroll up, okay? And the next thing I wanna do is check where it says sent mentions and click there. You're the click. <laughs> All right, and I've done a test on a couple of these guys to make sure that I got it right for you. So 
you see here, uh, my time is now uh, 3.53. The time here that it shows sent was 3.52.59. Okay, that's the message that it's going to post on my Twitter wall. Okay, and it's going to say, at Mass Planner Tips, thanks for the follow, Mass Planner. Check out uh, georgeprice83.com for social media marketing reviews, tips, and strategies. All right, so what I'm going to do now to make sure that I show you got, that it works is I'm going to go to my page uh, and under tweets and replies, and I'm going to actually um, delete this message from my wall so that I can show you that this works. Okay, I posted that one four hours ago. Actually, let's do this. Enable manual browsing. Go. All right, so I got that. So now I'm going to go back. Like I said, just click here. More. I want to delete the tweet. Okay, delete. All right, so that tweet is gone. Now what I'm going to do is uncheck this. Okay, and so this is sent to, as I told you, it's going to be a campaign. And, and I did that because I want to make sure this, this I show you how this guy's works, how this works. I don't want you guys to see any errors. All right. So <clears throat> after you've done that, you go to your campaigns. Okay. You prepare a campaign as I, I have done here. Okay. Which is simply, um, I, I've named it. And guys, make sure that you're naming your campaigns based on what you're doing. Okay. So that way it, everything is in sync. Okay. So George Price Twitter mentions. Okay. So I'll click on that campaign, the name of the campaign. Okay, if you have to create a new campaign, um, I have a video on that. I'll show you how to do it. It's ad campaign, and I'll, I'll just link that to here, okay? But for now, click on your campaign, okay? You don't really need to worry about any of these things here. Uh, if you're sending short links, or, or short links, if you're sending like affiliate links, then maybe you want to use a URL shortener, hint, hint, affiliate links. Hint, hint, okay? <laughs> but that's something else that you can do with this, guys. If you wanna, you know, like, if you're marketing, affiliate marketing, come on. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that you can't use this for, you know, various things, but that's one of the things that you may wanna think about, okay? But I'm using my um, my George Price blog. I don't wanna hide that URL. I want people to see it, I want people to know it, I want people to remember it, okay? So that's why I don't shorten that URL, all right? Advanced options, you don't have to worry about anything there either. Okay, what to publish, that's already done. It's in the post list area. Where to publish, where to publish, okay? So what I've done here already is I've made my um, George Price, um, I, I sent it, I'm sending it to my George Price 883 Twitter account, okay, posting on the wall, all right? What you'll need to do, guys, with this is you'll need to make a destination list, okay? I have a video on how to make destination lists, but you'll see here I have my destination list, George Price 883 Twitter, and it's gonna post on my wall. I have a video, I'll attach it to this, or I'll get it to you guys, ask me for it, on how to create a destination list, okay? So that's the where to publish. It's going to my George Price 83 Twitter wall, okay? And when to publish, um, this is a standard campaign. You can set this as a um, um, standard or either a um, volume campaign, okay? With the difference between a standard campaign, I'll, I can explain that to you guys separate as well, but simply put and quickly put, you can set it to do actions a certain amount of times per day, or in this case, posting your wall a certain amount of times per day. Okay, you see I have it set here five times per day. It randomly picks these times, okay, to post. Um, if you up the number, okay, you see the times change as well, okay? You can do yourself a favor, do a bit of research, and find out what times are the best times to, you know, be posting on Twitter, and then use this post, this uh, feature here, this mention feature, to start mentioning people at those times because those are most likely the times they're reading other posts. They see your post that says like, hey, thanks for following me. Look at my stuff. Hint, hint, okay? <laughs> so use this uh, feature to your, um, you know, based on your research, okay? If you're in the Mass Planner group again, um, I'll start giving you guys more information on how to do this. Um, and if you're under me in any kind of way, you know, I'll help you guys out. All right, so if you want to randomize the publishing times per day, you can do that, which will basically simply you know, you won't be posting at each these times each day, okay? So it just randomizes everything, all right? I don't have that checked. Um, and it, it's totally up to you. I'm just doing this as a test to show you guys that you have that option, okay? I do it sometimes, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm doing, okay? So public, and actually this will change, okay? But anyway, so publish a post on a um, selected, on publish a post on all selected destinations, okay? What this simply does, guys, is if you leave it unchecked, okay, you can do random destinations, all right? That just simply means if you're uh, sending this tweet to people that followed you, okay, you might want to send it based on all selections, okay, so that it does them all in chronological order or just based on when they follow you. Because if you do it randomly, all right, maybe it's not going to get people that just followed you. It'll get people that followed you maybe like two weeks ago and bounce around like that, 
which is kind of like what you don't want. So if you depend on your, your content and when you want people to you know react, that's how you do this, okay? And that's where you go the number of destinations, a random number of destinations and such there. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on uh, post all destinations, okay, without doing any randomization, all right? And then it's gonna wait around 120 seconds before publishing the same post on a new destination. So this is just going down a list and going to the next person, posting on your wall, they're mentioned, okay? All right, and then you can say if you wanna publish it or not publish it on certain days, then you can just tick on that day with your mouse, okay? If you wanna redo that, you decide you wanna post on that day, then you just simply click on it again and it'll undo it, okay? If it's black with a line through it, then it's not gonna post. If it's blue, it's gonna post, all right? So after you've done that, you go to the post list, okay? And you'll see the post that um, we put here, which is gonna be basically put on my wall, as I said. And the next thing to do is you can edit it, okay? To see what it looks like so if you decide you want to add a picture or do some different things to it you, and also if you want to check the um, amount of uh, tweet space that you have left as far as characters this is where you do that okay so as you see here it's um i have a total of five characters left so if i want to see what smiley face you know some other stuff i could do that okay it's up to you um and it's used 135 characters so this goes to show you exactly what's going to go on my wall okay so i'll just click okay i'm fine with that Okay, and then I'll go back to the overview area. I'll click where it says start publishing. Then I'll go to post list. And because this is um, set as a standard campaign, okay, it's going to post based on these times, right? So right now it's 4 p.m. This is 3.45 p.m. It's past that time. So I'll need to go ahead and publish this now. So in order to do that, I'll just click here where it says publish now. Okay, I'll go to the history campaign to see what it's doing. Okay, you see it's publishing zero of one. And because I have my browser open, and usually you do this just by, just by clicking here, and you'll see the browser pop open from the bottom there. Just click on it. Okay. And it's going to basically show you what it's doing. So I don't have enable manual done because if you enable manual, it's going to stop. It's going to, not going to show you exactly what it's doing. But boom, look at that. I just got a tweet. I have an alert on my phone um, saying that I just tweeted this, and that's how it works. <laughs> so if you want to do these type tweets, guys, boom. There you have it. Mass Plan will um, do a mention. It'll post it on your wall. Okay, it'll be posted under, it's not directly under your tweets, tweets, but it's under your tweets and replies because it's mentioned in a person as I um, as I said before. And yes, there you go. See, 25 seconds ago. All right, so that's how the um, Twitter mentions work. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.